What's going on, y'all? What it is? So let's go ahead and slide on this topic. And I want to talk about 50 Cent going in on Diddy on stage recently. And he basically implicated that Diddy had something to do with deleting Tupac, right? He said this in front of a huge crowd. And so at the end of the day, everybody's been talking about this situation ever since Keefe D got arrested. And truth be told, we've been talking about this for years, but the level of conversation has heightened due to the fact that Keefe D finally got arrested. Now, we know off rip, 50 isn't the type of dude to miss his words. So what I want to do right now is play you guys the video of 50 saying that, hey, Diddy has something to do with Tupac being deleted. And then I'll be right back. I hate when they leave me to talk because I always say the wrong thing. I was like, last time they left me, I said something about cuffing. So that, so that kept going. Yeah. I gotta stop doing that kind of shit. I got I've been, I've been talking to a uh, therapist to try to help me with the shit I'm saying. I said crazy shit in my mouth for no reason. I don't know. Oh wait, maybe, maybe I said the shit I put because he got two pockets. All right, so you heard 50 loud and clear, right? And he's standing 10 toes down in what he had to say, right? And that's the one thing I respect about 50. He shoots from the hip. He's going to tell you what he feels, and he ain't going to sugarcoat a damn thing. So you got to respect that, man. And he'll back it up, too. He's not one of the ones that are running around here afraid to say Diddy's name. But ultimately, we know that Diddy doesn't want those type of problems with 50 because he ain't built like that. You know, he does things behind the scenes. He'll pay people to take people out. We know how Diddy rolls. He ain't trying to have no one-on-one -on -one confrontation with no 50. But anyway, let's move along to this audio that was leaked right so there's audio where keefe d is straight up telling the police how diddy orchestrated this whole thing in regards to taking out tupac and it's shocking to say the least now some of the things we've already heard but he goes into great detail about what happened where they met at how many times they talked about this situation in regards to taking out Pac. i want you guys to take a listen to this audio and i'll be right back fight four of those occasions there's san diego anaheim irvine and vegas which ones do you actually talk to puffy at every one every one of them which of those four is it when you tupac it was really about both of them either one it was uh tupac and, and, tupac and Shug, you mean? Yeah. And, uh, after a concert in anaheim keefe d claims that he attended a party with puffy in a hotel suite so it's Harrell, you, Puffy, Zip, and a bunch of Southsiders. And, and what, Puffy makes kind of a, an announcement? Yeah, that was, that was stupid as hell too, you know. What did you actually hear? What was the words, if, if the best you can remember of what he says? He said he'd give us anything for them dudes, there, you know? Yeah. He'd give you anything for these guys' head? Yeah. He, uh, he said it in front of all the people, I couldn't believe it. You know what I'm saying? In Anaheim? Yeah. Oh, home full of trips. So this is after Jake. Yeah. So he was he was on point. He was worried about something happening. Yeah. She looked at Miles off about a bunch of different stuff. So he was scared. It was yeah, he was scared to death. Yeah. Okay. Okay. A few months later, at Greenblatt's Deli, Keefe D claimed that Puffy Combs furthered the solicitation. What happened that made it something other than just him frustrated and boasting? Man, I'll give you guys anything. I mean, what made it a specific like, hey, I'm serious. I want you guys. This guy, these guys. I mean, oh, he, he told me the uh, green bag. How's it go? How's the conversation go? I mean, okay, listen, I'll do it, but I need five hundred thousand dollars, or you know, I've got somebody who will do it, but I need three. I mean, we need really specific details regarding that. Yeah, we 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 want a million. Yeah. Um, you said you walked downstairs. Did he say come meet me downstairs? Yeah, he said come on downstairs and talk to you. Oh. He tells you seriously, man. I need to get rid of these guys. I mean, he's looking at you in the eyes and. Yeah. It's like scared. Yeah. So in your opinion, the specific reason he asked you to come downstairs and talk to him was about that thing, not about liquor or anything. Yeah. It was about that. Well, okay. Yeah. You tell him we'll do it for a million and he's like, okay, I'll do it for a million. Yeah. He agrees, you shake yeah. on it or something yeah. like that. Yeah. What happened? Gentlemen, he uh like man I'll sh up, we'll wipe the ass away. You know, it's nothing. Who brought up the amount of one million dollars? He did. Puffy did it. Okay. Was it you? 
So he brought up the one million dollars. Yeah. No project doing the kid fifteen hundred. You know what I'm saying? All right, so you guys just heard that. I told you guys Keefe D was gonna start singing just like a canary once he got locked up. He's talking, he's being cooperative and things of that nature. And guess what? I'm glad because if this is the process and the steps that we gotta take to get a conviction on Diddy, I'm down with it, 1000% down with it because this man has done some evil things to a lot of people. He has ran over people, he's trampled over them. He's just done so many sinister things to individuals that messed up their quality of life and he needs to pay for it. Now it's time for his quality of life to be affected for all the dirty deeds that he's done. But anyway, I'm gonna let it go right here. I want you guys to drop down in the comments and let me know what you think about 50 just blatantly saying that Diddy has something to do with deleting Tupac and also give me your thoughts on Keefe D talking to the FBI, talking to the police rather, and giving up information that involves Diddy being tied to Tupac's death. All right, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, peace. <laughs>